Hi everyone, it's Ash from FPL Hints here with a quick check-in on my UEFA Champions League fantasy team as well as updating my current draft. So as you can see on screen there, that is the team as I selected it literally before I even knew round of 16 teams would be. This was like literally initial draft that so I've got a set and forget team so that I could revisit the squad in Feb. So I've got Kane up top with Haaland and Jesus, Sane, Foden, Saka, Bellingham, Hummels, Cancelo, Zubeldia, and then in goal, I've got Romero with the subs, Cobell, Rodri, the Bayern defender whose name I can't pronounce, I don't want to say it wrong, but Upper Meccano and uh, Nacho as well. Now, as I've mentioned on previous videos, I am completely new to UEFA Fantasy Champions League. I've played it like once or twice as a casual, kind of gave up after one or two games. But then I've actually done reasonably well in the group stages. Then I thought, actually, I'll take each game week or match day, as you call it, as it comes. And it's going well so far. So what I've decided is with, with this placeholder squad that I have at the moment, I actually reread the rules again because I wasn't aware that there were certain changes. So obviously we've got the unlimited transfers ahead of all the round of 16 games. But I, what I wasn't aware of is that we can now have up to four players per club. In addition, I wasn't aware of the fact that the deadlines actually get split. So we've got this match day seven for the first leg, Tuesday the 13th at 9 CET. But then there's a another match day eight for the second leg. So it gets split essentially. And it got me thinking then. It was like, well, as it stands right now, I've kind of like split the players up just based on who I thought was best for each team. But then I thought to myself, actually, what if I just go quids in essentially on like certain teams because I can now maximize at four at a time so with that said I'm going to basically do a draft which is solely for this week's round of Champions League games and of course it would mean that the week after essentially I wouldn't score any points but then what I'm hoping is that if I can go all in on these teams that I would hope would reach the quarterfinals, that then I've got like a healthy backbone for that next round. And of course, if none of the teams that I back in the round of 16 make it with these players, then obviously I'm in somewhat of a predicament and I'll probably give up uh, UEFA Fantasy Champions League at that point. So what I'm going to do is if I just remind us of the fixtures again, so for the round of 16, match day seven, we've got Leipzig against Real Madrid, Copenhagen against Man City, and then we've got Lazio against Bayern, and then Paris Saint-Germain against Real Sociedad. So what I'm going to actually do is essentially go all in on the teams here. So I'll try and get as many as I can from PSG, as many as I can from Bayern, from Man City and from Real Madrid. And of course, like I've said, it's lopsided because then for the next round of games, I literally would have no coverage. So I'd hope that I can maximise the points um, in this particular window. But what it would mean is that I, I've got like three additional subs if I need to make tweaks. That's it. And otherwise I'll be taking hits. So let me see what I come up with this draft and I might even commit to it actually. So, as we can see right now, that is my current draft. So, I'll get rid of Jesus. He's not playing in this window. I'll get rid of Varea um, and Saka. And then, going further down, get rid of Hummels, Cancelo, Zubeldia. I might actually, I'll keep him for now. Um, he's playing in this window. Uh, Cobell isn't. And then got those players that are. So go straight to the forwards first and foremost. So we know that just get filter maximum. So I'll pick Mbappe. Oh, 
some wine. Apologies. Let's get rid of this. So yeah, it's a risky, it's a risky approach, but I'm gonna just see what I can do with it. Where's Mbappe? Just second. Of course, he hasn't been scoring in this campaign, so won't be there. So there he is. Mbappe is my uh, first PSG player. Now with PSG, there was one of the other players who was like, like almost like a budget player for them. Um, so let me just get him as well. There he is, Zaire Emery, 5.3 million. And then another uh, PSG player that really has caught my eye is Hakimi. So I can just get him as well. And it might seem a bit strange. How am I going to make it work? But well, I'll try and make it work somehow. So I've got I've got 16 million with four slots to fill. I think I'll get rid of Sane. I'll down, I'll downsize Sane in this instance, and I will also downsize Nacho as well. So in terms of PSG right now, I'll also get another PSG defender. I'll get Hernandez in as well. So. That's 25.2 million, and I've got four spots to fill. So I'll also get rid of Zubeldia as well, just so that I can maximize the spots of the teams that I back for the next round. So let's come on to Manchester City now. In my draft, I had Rodri and I had Foden. So I'm going to try and fit in Foden, De Bruyne, Haaland and a Manchester City defender. Let's just see if that works. Got Foden right there. And De Bruyne should be right at the bottom. Let me just deselect all these other options. There he is, 10.5 million. So the Defender I'm going to pick from Manchester City will be Ake. I've got a feeling he's played in all the group stage games. So I'm going to back him. Let's just confirm. Yep, that is the case. Although <laughs> didn't really keep any clean sheets. But four and a half million, absolute bargain. So in he comes. So here I've backed four Manchester City players and four PSG players because um, I've got the allocation to do so. Open Meccano, I'm going to get rid of him and I'm going to try and down, downsize him. Actually, I'll keep him. Let's. I might not need to downsize him here. So the, uh, the other um, player I'm going to get from Bayern, because my funds are somewhat limited, I wanted uh, Leroy Sane. Can't get him. And with Kimmich, wouldn't make sense as well. So let me just go to Bayern Munich. So the next best option, really, for, for me from Bayern, it's Komen, who he's not been consistent, but he, get, he gets a haul every now and then. So £8 million can't go wrong. Let's get him into the squad. So I've got £9.4 million to go. So I'm going to try and get in a budget defender from a reasonable team and then a budget goalkeeper as well. So Nacho, I, I was trying to downsize from Real Madrid. So I will go back to Real Madrid in this instance here for a defender. And I know there's somewhat of a price difference here and it will help me unlock funds as well. So let me just change it to defender. So the next best option for me as a defensive option would be Vasquez, who has played all of the group games for Real Madrid, except for the second match day. So in he comes. Now that leaves me with 4.9 million for a goalkeeper. So with those transfers confirmed, I've got Kane, Mbappe and Haaland up top, De Bruyne, Foden, Bellingham, Zaya, Emery, 
Ake, Hernandez, Hakimi, and Romero. But of course, I need to just rejig this team slightly because, um, as we know, Real Madrid and Leipzig, Copenhagen, Man City all play in the initial game. So I'll bench as many of the PSG and Bayern Munich players as I can. I'll bench Hernandez. And I'll bring on Vasquez and I hope that he starts in that Tuesday night game. And I've got my two Bayern players there. So in terms of the players that I, I can sub on for um, Wednesday night, it's Hernandez of PSG, Upa Mokano and Komen from Bayern Munich. And then I'll also do a quick goalkeeper switch as well. So Romero will go out and Gabara will come in. So hopefully you'll get some save points for me. So let's just confirm that. And I'll just do a super zoom in. So with this um, updated draft, if I was to fully commit to it before the deadline, Kane, Mbappe, Haaland up top, De Bruyne, Foden, Bellingham captain, but it's an important caveat that Bellingham actually um, might potentially miss out due to uh, an injury, but I'll keep the captaincy on him just for now. And then Zaire Emery is the other midfielder. Ake, Vazquez, Hakimi make up the defence, and then Guevara in goal. And then who I can sub on for Wednesday night if needed, Hernandez, Ufumacano, Komen and Romero. So there you have it. It's an experimental updated draft. Of course, the upside is I'd get a lot of points this week. The downside is if it goes wrong, that I can only change three of these players um, ahead of the next round of Champions League games. Let me know in the comments below what you think. If this is completely like out of the box and not worth the risk. Like I've said, it's my first proper season playing UEFA Fantasy Champions League beyond the group stages. Like I didn't even know that you could get a maximum of four players per club until I literally read the rules moments ago. And we'll take it from there. Take care and all the best. Thank you. Bye.